Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can fade in and fade out individual letters of a text in VSCC Free Video Editor. So, if you look right here, this new option of text effects has been introduced in the latest update of VSCC. And for the past two weeks, I've been trying to make a video on this, but I could not. And that's because there are just way too many permutations and combinations involved both individually as well as collectively between these three text effects. And so for the first video, I thought maybe I should take up something simple and not complicate things. And so that's why in this particular video, what we will do is we will see how you can fade in and fade out individual letters of a text using these three text effects. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, first of all, let's write some text on screen. And so let me just go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then set the same size as the parent has by clicking on this option right here. Now let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say text effect. And let me just center align my text by clicking right here. Perfect. Now let me just change the text color to black. And let me just change the contour color to white. And let me just increase the contour thickness to somewhere around 10 pixels. Perfect. Let me also increase the spacing between my letters. And so you will find this tracking option present right here. So let me just increase the value inside the tracking option to somewhere around 10 pixels. Perfect. Now double click on the text object and first we will see this recoloring text effect. So go to text effects and select recoloring and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of the recoloring text effect is the entire duration of my text which is 10 seconds. So let me just decrease the duration of my recoloring text effect to somewhere around 5 seconds. So let me just write 05 inside the duration option and press enter. Perfect. Now look inside the recoloring text effect settings which is present inside the properties window. And the only two options which we will deal today is effect direction and processing order. And these two options both go hand in hand with each other. So I will show you what I mean by that. So if I just quickly play the video for you, right now my letters, the letters of my text will fade in from the first letter to the last letter. And they will fade in because fade in is selected inside the effect direction and they will fade in from first letter to the last letter because inside the processing order from first glyph to last is selected. And so that's why the letters of my text will fade in from first letter to the last letter as you can see on screen. Perfect. Now I can change this. I can change both the effect direction as well as the pressing order. So if I just want to change the order. So instead of the first letter to last letter, I want my letters to fade in from the last letter to the first letter. And so to do that, I just need to change the value inside the pressing order to this particular second value, which is from last cliff to first. And now if I just quickly play the video for you, now the letters of my text are fading in from the last letter to the first letter, as you can see on screen. I also have a third option called random order. And as the name suggests, the letters will kind of fade in in a random order. So if I just select random order inside the pressing order, now the letters of my text will kind of fade in in a random order as you can see on screen. Perfect. So this was fade in. I can also fade out my text. So all I need to do is change the effect direction from fade in to fade out. And now if I just quickly play the video for you. Now my letters will fade out in a random order. Perfect. Once again, I can change the value inside the pressing order to this one, the first one, which is from first cliff to last. 
and now what will happen is my the letters of my text will fade out from the first letter to the last letter perfect and so you can play around these two options effect direction and processing order and you can use them let me just show you something else let me just place the cursor at 5 seconds and let me just go to text effects and select recoloring and then click on ok now let me just click on this first recoloring text effect which I created inside the effect direction let me just select fade in and inside the pressing order from first clip to last is already selected now let me just click on the second recoloring text effect which I created and inside the effect direction let me just select fade out which is already selected and inside the processing order let me just select from last cliff to first and so now if i just quickly play this entire video for you from the beginning first the letters of my text will fade in from the first letter to the last letter and then they will fade out from the last letter to the first letter as you can see on screen perfect so this was just a small demo of the recoloring text effect you can do a lot of different things with this text effect as you can see you just have a lot of different options below and uh, you can do a lot of things so we will get to that in some later video now let's look at the second text effect all right so let me just go to text effects and select shift position and then click on ok let me just decrease the duration of my text shift effect to 5 seconds and if you look inside the text shift effect settings effect direction and pressing order remain the same and they do the same thing which you saw previously so if I just quickly play the video for you now the letters of my text are fading in from the first letter to the last letter and let me just change the pressing order to the second one and now the letters of my text will fade in from the last letter to the first letter perfect and let me just select this third option which is random order and now what will happen is the letters of my text will fade in in a random order perfect Similarly, we also have fade out. So if I just change the effect direction from fade in to fade out and if I just select this first option once again from first clip to last. Now the letters of my text will fade out from the first letter to the last letter as you can see on screen. Perfect. Now let me just change the value inside the pressing order to the second one which is from last cliff to first and now the letters of my text will fade out from the last letter to the first letter. Perfect. And finally if I just select random order inside the pressing order now the letters of my text will fade out in a random order perfect and just as I showed you something with recoloring text effect let me just show you something with this particular text shift effect also let me just place the cursor at 5 seconds let me just go to text effects select shift position and then click on ok now let me just click on this first text shift effect which I created and let me just select fade in inside the effect direction and let me just select from first clip to last inside the pressing order now let me just click on this second text shift effect and let me just select fade out in the effect direction so fade out is already selected and inside the pressing order let me select from last clip to first perfect and so now if I just quickly play the video for you first my letters letters of my text will fade in from first letter to last and then they will fade out from last letter to first as you can see on screen perfect so this was the second text effect which is text shift effect 
and so let me just delete this and let's move on to the third text effect which is there inside this text effects option and that is glyph effects so if i just quickly click on this third option and then click on ok now let me just decrease the duration of my glyph effects text effect from 10 seconds to 5 seconds and now if i just quickly play the video for you now the letters of my text will fade in from the first letter to the last letter perfect you can change the pressing order to the second option which is from last glyph to first now the letters of my text will fade in from the last letter to the first letter as you can see on screen perfect and similarly we have a third option of random order which will make the letters fade in in a random order perfect and fade out does the exact opposite of this so if i just select fade out inside effect direction and if i just select from first glyph to last inside pressing order and now if i just quickly play the video for you now the letters of my text will fade out from the first letter to the last letter as you can see on screen perfect now inside this glyph effects text effect we also got a third option of transformation type as you can see right here so let me just change the effect direction from fade out to fade in and as you can see when i play the video for you the letters of my text are kind of zooming in and that's because zoom is selected inside this transformation type option so if i just change this from zoom to skew now the letters of my text will kind of skew instead of zoom as you can see right now on screen perfect similarly we also have a third option of rotate and now if i just quickly play the video for you the letters of my text will now rotate as you as you will see right now on screen perfect so this was just a basic demo of all the three text effects and as i said before at the start you can do a lot of different things there are just way too many permutations and combinations which can be done and i will slowly make videos on them one by one but uh, just to give you some taste of these three text effects this is the video which i created but anyways do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching